Okay, um, seeing quite a lot of uh, posts on forum groups of people having issues with the Zode Copilot um, linking it up to the Flysky system. Um, so what I did is I thought I'd um, pull a complete system together and, uh, and show you how it all works. So um, for those that aren't familiar with the Zode Copilot, it is a small flight controller with GPS return to home um, and a settings board and a list of instructions, but we won't bother reading them. Um, right, what you need to do first is make sure that your receiver is bound to your controller. Make sure that your receiver is bound to your controller. Um, so what we do is we get a binder pin. These come with all the um, receivers and we plug that into the uh, bind VCC port on that side. Um, we select a clear model and on this one uh, model 20 is um, available. So I've used that. Turn the controller off, push the bind button, turn it on and it goes into binding mode. Then with one cell battery or anything uh, 3.5 to 5 volts, pop that into there. That will then power the receiver and we've then bound. That's a low voltage alarm, don't worry about that. So turn that off, turn that off, take that out, pop that away. Now, that one thing that we need to make sure is that um, we are sending this over in PWM because these receivers, although they have um, IBUS output, the Zode isn't compatible with that. So we need to make sure that our transmitter and receiver are talking to the Zode using PWM. So if we go into the um, menu, go into that one, we go down to go down to receiver setup there, into receiver setup, all the way down, and we go output mode. And in here, we can choose PWM, PPM, and if we're using serial IBUS and SBUS, although these receivers don't do SBUS. Um, so we're on PWM, long pre council press button to save that, and then work our way back out to there. So that's the pardon me, transmitter setup. Um, now if we pop the Zode out of its casing, I have taken the liberty of putting the wires onto the modules prior to starting. Um, so here we have the Zode control board. We have a settings board that plugs into there. That's for choosing the various plane types. Um, our GPS plugs into this side over here. And it comes with a pre-configured PWM um, fly lead, jump lead, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that plugs into there onto your receiver, uh, the top pins are the signal pins. So the white one is signal one, so that all goes into there. And then the other one is, that's gonna provide the power to the board via the um, receiver with signal on the top one up there. Now, putting it into a model, um, I fly all mine with um, FR Sky and my Tyrannus and iNav and things. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hook up some servos to the outputs that will um, effectively pretend to be a plane. Um, obviously it's not a plane. There we go. There's three of those in there. Provide power with this 1S battery. So we are going to get beeping 
because it's below the low voltage cutoff or so the the low voltage alarm that is programmed into um, into this transmitter um, but failing that I can still show you it all working so um, what you would do is you you plug your um, lead coming out of your ESC into the throttle channel that will provide the power to the board and subsequently to the receiver um, but I'm going to power this directly from the receiver because it's only a, um, a small test so as you can see um, we're powered we've set up channel 5 excuse that and we have outputs um, on the servos as you can see okay we've also got um, stabilized working that's working there um, so turn that off um, so that's working we've now we're waiting for a GPS signal to um, get locked in but I'm indoors so that's not going to to happen anytime soon but there you see the complete process of setting it up with um, the Flysky FS IA6B receiver and the Zode co-pilot. Um, thank you for watching.